Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos de vuelta a este juego. Vamos a Tales of Rise. Recién terminamos la parte de pelea contra el último de los Lords. Se robó las buenas armas. Unas niñas rojas. Y ahorita, bueno, la idea es ver qué, qué más podemos hacer en cuanto a la historia. No puedo cortar los dos. ¿Todavía no? Ahí está. Nivel 2 en el mejor es casi. Voy a ver lo que le esto. No nos va a hacer ahorita, pero lo va a tener en cuenta. Something happened. <laughs> the writers. Salín, ya hay un internet. Mínimo. Ya quería. Ok. Eh. Oh. Ok. Oh. 
vamos a ver, a ver qué encontramos. Ah, no, quería el build. El build. Rápidamente vamos a ver esto. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. I think Hoodle senses something. Hoo hoo. Hoo. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. Maybe some. Oh, quick rumbling. This sort of stuff's old hat for us by now. La idea es encontrar quién está robando las provisiones de la gente. Que no tenía. Yeah, you've got a point. But it's not going to take forever, Law. I promise. Let's just do what we came here to do and get out. position Lower ball run What the fuck? What the hell? Do these guys not realize who we are? It doesn't seem that way. I must think we're just damaged from the town. Whatever's going on, these are ball run soldiers. Watch yourself. Lord of Hell, Brussels. Well, how you expect us? Oh, wow! <laughs> so then, Tengo hambre, no I can't come. believe how quickly you got all those soldiers to obey you, Dohalim. Actually, they were abiding Ren in hierarchy. Not me personally. What? Well, either way, it solved the problem, and that's what counts. Vamos a sacar rápido, a ver. Looks like we made it here in one piece. if something happened. Huh. Oh? 
What? Yes! Just great. What? Hmm. What? Yes! Yes! Hmm? <sighs> nice! Sorry. Yes. Just great. <laughs> Está muy chistosa como tiene los tres mm. muy específicos. White, soft and fluffy items. Is that just Description supposed to be figurative or literal? Let's check anything in the area. Scores. I've talked to the soldiers and made it clear that they are to remain in line. Things should stay calm for the time being. I know Renans tend to take authority extremely seriously, but you sure know how to throw your weight around as a former lord. I only managed to get through to them because Volron's curse is lifting, but not to the extent that they can act independently as of yet. Considering we had other matters to attend to for the past month, we should consider ourselves lucky that nothing occurred during our absence. But if they do start operating independently again, that's going to cause a whole new set of problems to deal with. Indeed. Ganeth Heros is unlike Menencia. Without intervention, they'll likely revert to oppressing the Danans as they were doing before. Meaning there's still a lot of work to be done in this realm. Not that there aren't problems among the Danics, too. <sighs> yes. There was no way to avoid the deep-seated conflicts that had festered here. But... I just hate that we had to use your position as a lord to solve the situation, Dohalim. Had I not intervened, yet more blood would have spilled here, and nobody wishes for that. <clears throat> so, what's going to happen to the Renans here now? Why do you ask? We've stripped the soldiers of their armor and locked them up. They can't hurt you guys anymore. I promise. So they're alive? They're... they're not going to die? What? Those people deceived us. They did terrible, terrible things to us. They made us suffer long before you guys came along. For years and years and years, it was constant, never stopped, not even for a day. So many people died. Our parents, our children, our friends, they all died. They were murdered, and it was the Renans. The Renans were the ones who did it. They killed us. Why do they get to live after so many of us have died? The bastards should die! Every last one of them! Uh, I... I know how you feel, Ganya. I Are used you? to be a slave, and I hated the Renans just like you. I took up the blazing sword to bring them down. But along the way, I've met many people and seen many things. People refusing the hand life dealt them. People who have lost loved ones, but are still trying to make this world a better place. People driven by hate who stopped before it was too late. And those who couldn't and paid with their lives. And I fought plenty of people who were all too happy to make others suffer. Believe me. But after a while, I came to realize that it's not the Renans who are our true enemies. What the hell are we fighting if it's not them? 
We're fighting against anyone who tries to take what doesn't belong to them. But that's what these Renans are doing. How is that any different? Because I judge everyone by their own actions. That goes for Danans too. Because at the end of the day, at the root of all evils committed is an individual who committed them. You're right, Alfin. It seems like people are either blaming an entire race for one individual's sins, or an individual for everyone else's mistakes. But all that does is add more hate in a world that's already full of it. Yeah. I want to help create a society where people can finally stop suffering and move beyond their pain. But if we try to do that with more violence, then we'll just end up right back where we started in the first place. All right. Have it your way. I can't argue with the folks that helped us get back our ability to think and speak freely again. Is that to say you trust us then? I don't trust the Renans as far as I can throw them. I trust you guys because of who you are and what you've done. Fair enough. We won't let you down, Ganya. Ganya. Game. 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 <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Kisara? Is something wrong? Oh, no, nothing. It's fine, really. I'm just a bit worried about what'll happen to all these folks. Folks. Right. It'll take time before they start thinking for themselves again. Indeed, that is part of it. However, what I'm even more worried about is what will happen to them after that. What do you think they're going to want once they realize how cruel Volron was to them? Probably revenge. <laughs> what happened to Ganeth Haros is the worst form of oppression we've seen. But treated cruelly or kindly, slaves will rise up. Lenigus aside, there are still remnants of Renan supremacists scattered throughout Dana. You mean all that trouble we went through to get rid of the Lords might just lead to more violence? That's the last thing I want to see happen. Of course not. And if we don't do something to prevent it all from starting up again, there could be even more bloodshed for us to regret. There's still a lot we don't know about the Renan rulers. Whatever the face of truth behind their veil, it's on us to put a stop to them. But there is one thing that's clear. Whatever we do to finally end it, our motives can't be getting back at the Renans. Or it'll all be for nothing. So, what exactly is it that you're saying? That we should just act as if nothing happened? Yeah. Law's right. We can't expect everyone to just forget all the pain they've See, endured up until now. Not so easily, at least. But we have to at least try to change course. We can't just keep allowing history to repeat itself like this. Exactly. Look, I won't deny that between the Crown Contest and 300 years of oppression, there's a lot of bad blood between the Danans and the Renans. But all these problems are just too big for us to try to carry the burden on our own. We'll keep doing our part in the interim, but we need to take this one battle at a time. done just yet. I want you all to stick around a little longer. There I'm might still there. be people who need our help. When you think about it, thinking for yourself can be a heavy responsibility at times. Yeah, it's not like your mind will only ever think about good, happy things for one. Maybe so. 
but I'll still take that burden over living life as a puppet serving others. That's why I want to do everything I can to help these people. Okay, I'm going to do some more in skits. Yeah, I'm going to start with Loka Thini. Finally! If only we could have flown with the wind to get here... No creo que haya más skits, pero vamos a ver. We did a lot today, didn't we, Hoodle? Shion, could we talk a moment? Hey, do you have time to talk? There's something I need to ask you. Of course. What's up? It's about the doll I used to have as a little girl. I gave it some more thought, and I still don't remember actually receiving it from anyone. You were so little. I don't think it's that surprising you've forgotten, is it? Yeah, but here's the thing. That doll was so old, I'm starting to think I just always had it with me from the start. I know that it's extremely unlikely, but after last time we talked, it got me thinking. Maybe... Maybe you brought the doll that child made with you to Lenegas. I couldn't be. Are you saying you didn't? Uh... Look, logically speaking, I know it's a lot more likely that you didn't bring it with you than you did. But you can't say for sure you didn't, right? Crazier things have happened. I always thought I'd be alone, only to end up meeting you and Law and Rinwell and Kisara and Dohalim. Sometimes things happen in life that we never thought possible. You make a good point. I left everyone and everything I knew behind 300 years ago. But now, I'm not so alone anymore. Exactly. You crossed all those centuries to find all of us, so... Why can't a little doll have made the same jump too? Right? Look, it's up to you to decide if there's any meaning behind all of this. But I choose to think there is. Yeah, I think so too. There's something beautiful about the whole thing that simply can't be denied. I'm looking forward to breakfast. Sleeping on the ground beneath the heavens like this? Why, it's hard to complain. Good night, everyone. Did you get enough sleep? Looks like we made it. Where are you going? Since when do I need your permission to move around? I wasn't saying that you do. Though I'm not sure why you're biting my head off about it either. Oh, that's so typical of you. How can you be so relaxed about all this? At this very moment, the enemy is doing who knows what behind the scenes. And yet we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs in Ganeth Haros. I know that. But our hands are tied right now. What do you want me to do? And what's gotten into you anyway? Is there something you want to say to me, Shion? Look, you're right. Forget I said anything. If I said something to hurt you, I'm sorry. But I honestly don't know what I said to upset you so much. I really wish you would tell me. You don't need to apologize. You didn't say anything. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. Not really. Then why? Please just drop it. I don't want to talk about it. All right. If that's what you want, I won't push any further. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's fine. Just... don't be too hard on yourself, okay? <sighs> the 
<sighs> no way. <sighs> All right. Que así como si nada se murió. Tú sabes que hay A muchas veces que de repente salen de repente las. Ah, sí, aquí pasó esto yo. ¿Qué? Eso no encosta. Sorry. Yes. It's okay. Hmm. en una pelea. Yes. What? I think we could never do something. Huh? Into space? Afraid not. I'm sorry. Rinwell. Huh? Phew. Hmm? Good. Sure. It made them stop fighting with each other, right? 
However, oh fuck. <laughs> That's a good lesson. Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just, I mean, actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding, so we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to, it's the resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way. Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry. Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. Uh, you're welcome? Están tirando el can, están tirando el can. Que no digan que no. Yo los vi, yo los vi. Naori Aymeris. I think we've helped these people just about as much as we can. They're going to need more long-term aid than we can provide on our own. You're right. We need to ask the other realms to send help, and fast. Another reason to hurry and find a way out of Ganeth Haros. Agreed. Start looking for a way out tomorrow. For now, we should spend the day resting up while we can. Okay, vamos a restar. What? Pero no le dolía antes a ella, ¿no? Creo, no sé. Oh. oh. What's that noise? Help it! This is bad! Look at the sky! Huh? What the fuck? Están disparando? Bueno, tenía las cuatro energías. ¿Es una torre? Es un algo. Sí, es un algo. Y le está sacando energía, ¿no? De todas las cuatro elementos. Que le está robando la energía al planeta, ¿no? Disparan algo, está generando toda su energía. What's happening to Rena and Lenigus? It looks like Lenigus is transforming, but into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. 
It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance, too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. <laughs> but why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion. Uh, oblivion. Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Cores are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Ottolina Palace several times. Everyone in the Guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsef too. No, I don't you saw her, right, Shion? Shion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelagian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the lords for the Renan top brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now, that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we going to do then? We're not going to be able to leave Ganeth Haros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching. That must be Rena's true power. I imagine there would be something, but not to this extent. What's gonna happen now? We ask around. Let's do what we can. Hey, when that wedge dropped down on Dana, did anyone else see any weird light shoot out with it? Indeed. As I recall, it was four lights. Each one a different color and going in a separate direction. That's what I saw too. What were they? Hold on. A lot just happened here, so let's take a minute. For now, let's focus on one thing at a time. I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelagian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to leave, that's for sure. Whatever Lenicus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on, we don't have much time. Bueno, vamos a terminar aquí esta transmisión. Vamos a empezar a seguir con lo que es la historia. Es una entrega. Vamos a ver qué es todo esto y bueno, regresamos pronto. Cuídense mucho y después hasta luego.